So we just got finished watching the new Dune movie, and I have a lot to say about it. Hello, my name is Charlie, and welcome to my channel. I'm a non-binary sci-fi fantasy writer and a huge fan of Dune. Welcome to Oblivion. And I'm, oh, and I'm going to have to talk about it now, and that's not going to be easy. I'm going to start off this whole thing by saying, because I have such strong feelings about this movie, I'm pretty sure people are going to love it. Because when I feel this strongly about a film, especially as negatively as I feel about a film, usually I'm in the minority. I'm very rarely in the majority on that. So I'm going to take that as a given that people are probably going to praise this film as being brilliant and smart and wonderful and beautiful and whatever. But I, I, I just can't. I, I just can't. It is an aggressively ugly movie every possible way i i don't if it didn't have a cinematographer listed in the credits i wouldn't have believed that they had one it is monotone it, it could be shot in black and white and you really wouldn't notice the difference everything is beige on white on sandy colors and that wouldn't necessarily be a problem if they just bothered with basic contrast there are a lot of scenes that are in this movie that are really hard to read as to what's going on because everything is the same color everything is the same color the armor that people are wearing the dust that's being thrown through the air the light that's coming through and creating obnoxious lens flares that didn't we learn from J.J. Abrams that we need to just cut that out? I mean, please. Please? Like, I know you want to be the next Star Wars, but having lens flares does not make you Star Wars. It, it's ugly. The costume design is just aggressively terrible, except for the things that were clearly just taken either directly from the book or from the movies or various fan art that's been made over the years. The Thopters are neat. I guess, but pointless and hard to see in a lot of the situations that they're used in just because, well, again, monotone and colorless. So before I get into spoilers, and I probably will get into spoilers at some point, I, I feel like I have to stress, like, this movie is aggressively unattractive. So we open on Arrakis from Chani's point of view because I guess we need to introduce her early because of decisions that they made. Okay, fine. Chani witnesses the Harkonnens abandoning Arrakis. That's fine. Cut to uh, Dune. Okay, fine. I'm not going to talk right now about departures from the book, because that's not what bothers me. It's how they chose to depart from the book. Because the problems with this movie are, is it's not plot. It's a director who should not have been on the project and bad editing and just bad everything. Like the thought going into it. I have not used, hmm, I'm probably not going to edit this video. Just a warning because I feel like all of my visceral grunting sells my opinion. <laughs> probably better than the words that I'm using, but I don't know. We'll see. Caladan is supposed to be a beautiful planet. It's a water planet. It's green. Everything is green and beautiful. And oh no, not in this movie. It, it has charcoal gray seas and charcoal gray rocks and kind of green gray something that grows there. I mean, it, it's it's ugly. It's it's monotone. We we get to the Atreides house and welcome to oblivion. Everything's gray or black. Or, or, or charcoal in color. <laughs> like, nothing has color. The Atreides have never heard of color. It's it's fine. Nothing in the Atreides house has color. It's fine. Paul is an idiot throughout most of the movie. Everyone's an idiot throughout most of the movie. And that is the thing that upsets me the most about it. I mean, okay. So talking about the movie compared to the book, just for a minute, 
just in brief, because I don't want to do a point by point. I'm sure there are going to be people that are going to do that, and they're going to do it a lot better than I am going to here. <sighs> Dune is a story about smart people who are pitted against each other, and it's plans within plans within plans within plans. So apparently, the brilliant idea for this reboot, for this movie version of it, is, oh no, everyone's dumb. Except for Leto. Leto has a couple moments of smart, but just, Paul is dumb. Paul's dumb. He's dreaming about a girl he wants to go and have, I don't know, space babies with. I don't know. He's, he, he dreams about a girl, and he's all, like, into the girl and needs to go. To the dangerous planet because, I don't know, girl, okay, love struck teen, whatever. But everyone else is just dumb. Baron Harkonnen, dumb, and maybe not human? <sighs> okay, so in the Dune universe, everyone is human. Everyone is human. Even the navigators are human, even though they don't look it anymore because their exposure to the spice has changed them over time. And made them look inhuman. Okay. The Baron Harkonnen is Palpatine. He's, he's very clearly Emperor Palpatine. I mean, you can see that the, the notes that Warner Brothers gave them was, we want this to be our Star Wars. So Baron Harkonnen speaks like Palpatine. He actually has a very Ian McDermott cadence to his voice. He, they do everything but have him shoot lightning out of his fingers. And again, he's dumb. He's dumb. He's just there for revenge. We get no sense of the plot, that this was all plotted out. He's just a rage beast who's mad. And we have, like, I think one line of dialogue where he's like, don't you understand? The Emperor has set this up. And I don't know, Palpatine voice thing. <sighs> And of course, I'm not even going to get into the casting, because I feel like everybody was cast badly for this movie. No one, no one makes sense in the roles that they have, and that just adds to the confusion <laughs> of the story. It just... <sighs> I... 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 I the, the, the director made weird choices with all of the acting. And with all of everything to the point where nothing makes sense. We're introduced to the shields. We're told that the shields stop quick strikes but allow slow strikes in until there's time for a fight scene. And then every strike just goes right through the shield no matter what speed it's at. Which is also problematic because half the fight scenes are in slow motion. So you can't really tell what's a fast strike and what's a slow strike. because that's what makes it have gravitas, right? We're just gonna we're just gonna have everything in slow motion, right? And explosions. So many explosions. Hey, we need this town so that we can control the planet. Why don't we just destroy it from orbit? Yeah, with big, big bombs. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I've said it once. I've said it I don't know how many times already in this video. Dune is a book about a bunch of smart people with a bunch of plans going up against each other and those plans being in conflict with each other. That's not the movie that we get. That is not the movie that we get at all. We get a whiny, whiny, super emo Paul who, because plot, I guess, suddenly decides to be a badass when we get absolutely nothing to show us that he should be up to this point. He is not a good fighter. We get that very clearly portrayed to us prior to this. He's not good at thinking things out. And he's bad at pretty much everything that he does. Until, oh no, bad things. I guess I'm hero now. Maybe they were trying to show progression. Maybe they were trying to show him develop as a character and give him some character growth. But that's not how it actually comes across on screen. He's just bad at it until miraculously he doesn't need to be bad at it anymore because we need him to do a thing 
And so suddenly he's good at the thing. And that, I feel like, sums up the entire movie. Like, I, I want to do a spoiler section. I want to, like, go through point by point and tear this film apart. But I don't think I need to do it. That, that's just the problem of this movie, is it's monotone, it's colorless, it's bloodless. And why does Lady Jessica cry so much? Like, if there's one thing that I ascribe to Lady Je- Jessica as a character, she she's emotionless. <laughs> like, it's kind of her thing, is, you know, the Benny Gesserits, they kind of beat the emotion out of you. But she's crying. Like, most of her scenes in this movie are her crying. And I don't, like, I mean, I'm not begrudging her emotion, but there's one scene that just sticks out in my head that... It doesn't even matter where it happens in the movie because it's just so random and out of place. We just meet Lady Jessica walking down a hallway crying. And by the time she gets to the end of the hallway, she stops because, you know, dialogue needs to happen now. And wet snotty tears wouldn't facilitate the dialogue. So she's just going to not cry now. I don't know what I can spoil about this movie. I really don't. Just because it is just generally bad. I will say that they decided to break the book up into two films. This is something that I thought they might be doing, and it, it is what they did. They they picked a place to end that does not feel climactic at all. I think if they would have ended the movie maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes earlier, it would have felt more like, but oh, what's going to happen now? And instead of, oh, please let these characters die which is where it does end. But, yeah. I, I, I'm i getting tired of Dune being handed off like this. Because, okay, I have a very low bar when it comes to remakes. And the fact that the Sci-Fi Channel original miniseries is better <laughs> than this movie. Because they also broke the book up into three episodes. So there's a very clear one-to-one comparison between the three. The acting was better. The script was better. The sets were better. The costume design was better. Their understanding of the material was better. And you're supposed to be a future film. I am really glad that this was on HBO Max, because if it had been in the theater, I might not have watched it to the end. I've talked a lot about how I don't like our local theater, that it's a very painful place to go. The seats are very uncomfortable and it's just a very bad experience overall. And this movie would not have been worth any of that pain at all, at all to endure. So yeah, I, I don't usually do star ratings, but I would have to give this movie like a negative five. It, 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 it was fine. Like if you just want something to have on in the background, but there's nothing special about it. None of the characters are interesting. They never make fall interesting. Or Lady Jessica interesting, or Chani interesting, even though they're giving her more screen time than is necessary for her narrative so far. None of them are interesting. It's it's boring. It is dull. The action sequences are boring and dull and very clumsy. Like I'm pretty sure I saw some of the stuntmen like drop their weapons like when they weren't supposed to, and I think a couple of them may have fallen back, and you can actually get to see them pulling punches. I mean, it was. It was bad in every possible way. And I wanted to like it. I wanted to like it. The more I saw, the more they put in the trailers, the more doubt I had that it was going to be a decent film. And then I got to see it. And like I said, just because I have such strong opinions about it, I'm sure I'm going to wake up tomorrow and before I start editing this video, see like everybody raving about how good this movie is. Just because I have such strong feelings about it. But yeah, neither of us liked it. And I I just, I don't understand what they were going for. They clearly did not understand the book or just how movies should be made. If I had to sum this movie up for anybody who is curious about it, imagine if you took somebody who had, was in their first year of film school and gave them hundreds of millions of dollars to do a remake of Lawrence Arabia in space and did not give them any competent people around them to guide the filmmaking process. You you would get either something on this level or better than the film that we have here. The acting was subpar for all of the actors. 
and muted. The action was terrible. Special effects were bad. They were just bad. I mean, I'll take that back. The worm looked kind of kind of nifty, I guess. <sighs> But it, it needed better color grading, it needed a better editor, and it needed a lot less slow motion. It took way too long to do way too little. Because you really, you really could have done this as the first act of a three-act film and cut it down, like cut half to two-thirds of it out. And it might have actually improved the movie. Because so much of it is just unnecessary slow motion and unnecessary additional scenes that add nothing to the story or to the character development or to anything it's just additional fluff for no reason i knew they were going to cut stuff out i didn't think that they were going to cut out the story i mean i really didn't so yeah um i will probably do more videos about this depending on how this one goes over because I, I there's some Things in particular I do want to talk about, but I kind of want to think about them a little bit more. I just wanted to capture my initial just pure reaction to this film and how I hope that this filmmaker regrets having made it because it's just so bad. But it'll probably win all the awards and probably think it's great. For me, this Dune is a flop. And if they do get to make a sequel, I don't even know if I would watch it. I probably would because I love the source material and I would hope it would get better. But no, at this point, it's, it's if they had a new director, I'd be much more interested in checking it out. And that's Dune. Let me know what you thought. Like, if you liked it, like, don't be afraid to tell me that you liked it. People are allowed to have differing opinions. That's fine. I mean, maybe monotone is your thing. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I guess if I had to say one nice thing about it, Jason Momoa did show me that he could play a subdued character, which I didn't I didn't think he could do that. And I do want to know how much they paid him to shave, because I've not seen him clean shaven in a very long time. Yeah, it Okay, I'm gonna stop repeating myself. Let me know what you thought about Dune down in the comments, if you're gonna watch it, what you thought about it. I will probably do a full on spoiler video after I process everything that i just saw don't forget to like subscribe all that jazz and until next time remember to go out there and do what you can to help stop asian hate to remind the people that do not believe that black lives matter that black lives matter that black trans lives matter and that trans identities are magical and don't forget to have the courage to go out there and ride your dreams into reality have the fun bye